Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how can, you can make a separation protocol or experimental paradigm. So in this way, uh, I'm just going to paste this reactor first, which is the reactor that I made in my previous video. I will also leave a link down in the description so that you can check out how to make it. And followed by a supporting comment which shows that what is the first step in the process, which is the adding the feed, biomass and adding the water. So this is the first shape. Now, if you want to add another shape sh to give a representation of another thing, what you can do is just copy that and just go to fixture format, change the color, and you can easily represent any color which shows that either it is hot or it is cooled down. So you can easily use that image or as a as a picture and then change the color for that diagram. So in order to make it more easier, I'm going to do what I'm going to do is I've already made this diagram before so that I can easily copy that and I can show you step by step how you can achieve a single step or how you can achieve a particular step in that diagram easy and simple way. So now I'm going to copy that part which is the second part in which it shows that the reaction is now hot. That means the reactor is hot now and it's at a certain temperature. Let's say in this process it was at 300 and the time residence is one hour. So now these small circles how you can draw is go to insert shape options and take a circle. So just draw the circle first and just reduce the size and then what you can do is you can go to shape outline no outline and change the color and you can easily simply represent that color by doing using simple circle diagram and how you can do the other parts in the shape so for example take a rectangle double click on this one click here and then go to pattern fail click on the pattern fail then you have different patterns so select this one after that you can go and change the foreground and the background color let's say we are going to have a darker foreground color which is dark brown and a lighter uh, background color which is red so this way you can easily represent any particular uh, reaction mechanism or any reaction you want to demonstrate in graphically on a simple way you can easily do that using pattern fail. Now the third part which is the reaction goes here the first step and it then goes to the second part and then there is another third part which is the cooling down of the reactor. So now I'm going to copy the same reactor again and then I'm going to paste it here so that we can easily represent that. Now I'm also copying the uh, supporting text so that I can easily explain and I don't have to copy again and again and I will also explain one by one which part represents which section. Now you can see that we have three parts. This part represents the feed in, then the reaction and then the cooling down. So now we can in our process we also have gas and we can easily draw them like this. So these brackets which I draw you can easily draw them using shapes. So these are double brackets and these are simple ones, single ones. So you can just click here and you can insert here like this, double click click here and go to the line options increase the thickness and you can increase and decrease the thickness or change the color whatsoever you want so I've explained every description which is in every part so it says that these are my objects on the wall I will show you later on how it these are represented I'm going to show a connection between the first and second one so I can easily show them by making a line and representing them by a number so my first step is uh, on the right hand side, left hand side and my second step is on the left hand side uh, respectively and then it goes on uh, like this. So it is easy how to draw this, just take simple line and then double click on this line, click here and then go to line options, you can easily see here, increase the thickness to 2.25 and change the line option to dash type and you can easily have this one and simply you can easily draw the connection from one point to another point. So most of my uh, videos I already explained how you can make it. So I'm going to copy a big chunk of my diagram which I made previously so that I can easily explain how and how, uh, which step is done how and how you can easily do it by yourself. So now in this part you can see, uh, let me just remove this one. Now you can see that uh, this part has something alongside the walls of the container. So uh, let me just zoom in a little bit which is like this. So these are the products which are on side the wall. You can also consider these ones and you can simply draw them by like this. Draw a rectangle and change it to a pattern fail and you can easily represent that there are some materials also stacked to the walls of the con uh, reactor and you can easily uh, deal with them. So in this case I'm uh, processing my uh, product which is along uh, on the walls of the my reactor. I wash my reactor and collect this those things and then I filter them using a buckner, uh, bucker funnel and then uh, after that I'm going to take my solid residue and this solid residue comes here and then goes for analysis. So this part which you can see that this is a beaker I just covered this with a white uh, with white rectangle so that it can easy, I can show that there's only a few liquid that is uh, used so that I can uh, I can collect my uh, valuable product from the reactor in the beaker. So now this is easy and easy to draw. Now if you use this uh, Buckner funnel you must make it your own diagram but try to find something which doesn't have a copyright it, because normally the, gra the graphics uh, which are not uh, made by yourself do might sometimes have a copyright issue. So you can easily make this diagram by using line and may follow my previous tutorials on how to make these diagrams or icons in Microsoft PowerPoint. 
So now I'm just going to click here and click on flask and you will easily find these two options first one and this one now once you paste it here and you will say that how do uh, why do it has uh, dots on the top uh, but this one doesn't so you can just simply crop it so uh, just simply crop it and reduce the size and you can easily have this shape now click over here and change the color of the shape and you can easily have the shape or the color whatever you want so this beaker the samples that you can see you can easily find them by typing a keyword which is science or just typing uh, by typing science you can easily find that and here you go you can find it just click and insert and you can easily place it wherever you want so this is the one part which says that my product from the top is being analyzed and then goes to the analysis so this uh, solid residue picture is my own you can just remove the background and you use this simply now now I'm going to bring the next step which is the uh, main processing which is the main reactor content so uh, same process the reactor content goes on through the same process which is the bucket of funnel and then goes to the separation water soluble organics and organic products let me just bring the beaker which uh, shows that this beaker goes inside the reactor so it looks like this so this product goes into the bucket of funnel and you can see there are two different layers just for representation organic layer and water soluble organics and the bio oil so you can see that same process have a solid residue and then it goes to the separation using acetone and then you can see there is a, uh, a layer formation between the bio oil and the water soluble organics and then they go to the rotary funnel evaporation which i will show in this uh, part and then before that you know that we need to do analysis so this part just represents that these, uh, this blue part is uh, going to the next part which is uh, the separation of the uh, aqueous product and separation of the bio oil. So I just made give them a different color blue means aqueous and the golden brown means in the organic product. So this aqueous also goes for the analysis and then you can simply use the those analysis beakers again and then you can represent them as they are going for analysis and that's all. So now comes the part where we are going to treat the bio oil. So this bio oil also has some acetone. So we need to evaporate that. So for that we need a rotary evaporator. And you can see that how it represents. So this line uh, you can see that it connects here and then goes here and then there is a diagram for rotary evaporator. So this rotary evaporator is downloaded from online. Uh, try to use the pictures that doesn't have the copyright issues or doesn't have any claims. So because normally it creates a problem for you guys. So what you can do is uh, try to make uh, your own or try to find something which doesn't have a copyright issue. So uh, this is, was actually having a background. So how I remove the background, I'm going to show you here uh, in a moment. So this is an image. So I'm going to reset this image because I already removed the background. So I reset the picture and size. Now this was the original picture. So now once you click on the remove background, you can see that the pink area showed which is removed and the other areas is the one that you have. So now I'm going to uh, click on mark areas to keep. I'm just going to click on the areas that I want and just going to highlight them and that will help me keep the parts that I want. So this is just an example. So if you want to use these complicated ones, uh, it's better that you use something that don't have copyright issues. So you can see that all the uh, images that I have have a description, small description. So instead of making a boring text, you can also explain using these diagrams and you can just easily show that these uh, steps can be seen in this figure or this section of the figure. So now again, all the process goes for the analysis part and that's how it's everything is done. So uh, this is how you make a diagram in easy and simple way, not too complicated, not too difficult, easy to draw. If you want to see how I make the reactor, you can easily check out my videos in my previous link. I'll also leave a link down in the description box and don't worry for the numbers. You can change the numbers whenever you want and you can see how uh, to number them, which steps comes first and which steps comes after. Copy the diagram and paste it as a picture. Now go to insert menu, take a shape and put a shape here. I'm so, sorry, I need to change the shape to another shape which is the rectangle one. Uh, choose the shape and send it to the background. Now it's too dark. Now you have to find a uh, lighter color. Prefer that you use a light or white background or, or a little bit gray background. It looks more good and more uh, it makes a give a good look to your diagram. What you can do is make a slight adjustment so that you can use it uh, in a better way for your graphical abstract or for your experiment prior diagram. Uh, explanation so that's how you make it you can remove the background change the outline to a black color for a solid view and you can easily see that it looks much better in comparison to one text that you have i hope this video helps and if you have any comments leave down your comments in the comment section down below and if you haven't subscribed my channel do subscribe and till then take care Allah